Hello lovely butterfly, welcome to this journal on Monday, week 179. I'm ready for a new spread in my Channel Monday art channel and I'm working with the fresco finish from Paper Artsy. I'm using four colors from the same family being pixie dust, sugar plum, sour grapes and plum and these are super easy to blend because they are from the same family. So I'm working my way from light to dark and I'm back from dark to light adding a little bit of water when needed and these really blend like super duper easy and as this is the main element well one of the main elements of my spread i'm really taking my time to have a beautiful blend in the background
That first layer did dry super fast and there's no warping of the paper. So adding my second layer over that is very easy again. I'm using my circle stencil to add a circle of crackle glaze. I'm just applying it with my paintbrush and then I can use my heat gun to dry it faster. Up next, I'm going in with two shades of green, being the Sage and the Hay Pesto. First, I'm using it to stamp, using several stamps from my uh, Perfect Word stamp set. Just using my fingers, no acrylic block, because I don't want my stamping to be too regular. This is just something um, to lead the eye towards the focal point. Going back in with my circle stencil and the same colors in the fresco finish, so still sage and hay pesto. This time I'm applying the color with a sponge and I'm trying to do it in one go so that I don't overwork the paint so that I have the best crackles possible. But at the same time, I do want to have some blending going on, some gradient going on from light to dark. So not an easy thing to do without working the color. And then of course I need some splatters again using those same colors. To accentuate the organic feel of the spread because at this point it's very regular and very sturdy, I'm going in with a Unipen pen and adding some doodling. Um, well, it's a plant, so it couldn't be any more organic than that, right? To help my doodling stand out from the spread, I'm going in with some uh, snowflake white uh, fresco finish and adding some um, highlights here and there, but keeping it very, very soft and subtle. So I'm working with a lot of water and a baby wipe to tone it down.
I didn't really like how the white paint was looking on top of the green paint, so I decided to use a Posca pen instead and add really clear highlights to that part of the spread. And then, well, I liked it so much that I decided to add some more on the rest of the doodling. I wanted to accentuate that dreamy feeling, so I'm going back in with the white diluted fresco finish and again playing with a baby wipe to lift the paint where it's too intense, just to really have like a dreamy effect. In case you think that I don't have any accidents, well, this is me having an accident and just wiping it away. That's the cool thing about these paints. As long as they haven't been heat set, they are water reactive and you can still wipe them off. It's also a downside. I mean, if you don't want them to move and they're not set enough, well, they will still move if you work on top of them. So you have to make sure that they are really set. For my wording, I took one of the words from my How Shall I Put It stamp set and just stamped it with black archival ink next to my doodling. And well, you know how much I've been liking the Posca splatters lately, so it was too neat. I wanted to have like these real white splatters going on. Going in with a charcoal pencil, I'm giving my circle a little bit of a shading at the bottom. And then for the other side of the circle, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to give it a highlight with a white charcoal pencil. And then just blending it with a blending stump. like adding more doodling so just going around the spread again with uh, the same unipin pen which is a 0.2 which is pretty fine and I'm holding it super loosely this is a very delicate spread so it doesn't call for big black lines and then to make my word pop I'm giving it some white accents as well again using my finest white Posca pen Using my Driving Me Circle stencil to use those smallest circles to add some of those around the plant and to intensify that organic feel of it. And again, some more doodling. I was really in a doodling mood that day.
three of my stamp set have these kind of little numbers. I keep them together on my acrylic blocks because I use them all the time. I picked out the smallest one, the one with the smallest numbers, and I'm just stamping it with archival ink around the doodling to give it a little bit more depth. I still had something to tell and I wanted to add it to the spread. So I journaled it around the circle, again using the same Unipin pen point two. Even if the spread looks pretty simple, I really like how it looks because it really expresses what I had to say. So I decided to just leave it like that. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to put down a layer a day. Big shout out to my patrons without whom this video would not be happening. See you back here next time. Butterfly kisses.